we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. What Welcome to the Crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love. Keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, Bitcoin and crypto have moved back slightly. But what do we notice? We see yield rates are pushed down even further, which, guys, we know, of course, is going to give the stock market relief. And if they can stay this low, cryptos also will get a pump running into open interest. Guys, remember, we do the same thing every single month. Now, we have Ethereum flips Bitcoin options market for the first time. And guys, we know the gambling casino is wide open. We're about a month and a half away from the merge. At least that's the date they've given us. Now, we have Bank of America says Ethereum needs scalability improvement to hold its market position. And remember, guys, Bitcoin and Ethereum has about 60% of the actual market. Now, they're saying that Binance Smart Chain, Tron, Avalanche, Solana is taking their market share. But guys, we know that's not correct. Those who are in the crypto space, we know all the projects that are built on Ethereum. And the whole point of the merge and also Ethereum 2.0 is to fix all the issues. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which we clearly see are pushing down, which is going to help us out a lot as long as they can stay this far down. Remember, guys, we do not get a rate hike this month for a whole month and a half. We also have volume, tether, USDC, and of course, the Fed. They had moved the repo all the way up to $2.3 trillion. Guys, it's definitely amazing, but they can get away with it because the masses don't understand finances. The free stimulus money that the American people received, they paid back 10 times full with all this inflation. Even with the raises, the inflation has eaten up the raises. It's absolutely out of this world, and we know the plan. It was all so they could build this new fourth industrial revolution, and Biden finally gets his bill passed, so therefore they can start building. Remember, guys, it's a Schmitter year, and we're definitely going to have that great distraction that they can build on for the next two years. 
And remember the crypto teacher told you. And then also we have Grayscale. Grayscale pulled back slightly on Friday. Make sure you are pulling the allocations. Most likely today, they'll pull back also. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have first Binance token, BAB, targets KYC user credentials. And we know this is nothing but a test to simplify a digital identity. And we have Binance's CZ says country Pacific crypto market, a bad idea. But guys, we know when it comes to crypto, this is a global initiative. You can't go to not one country and they don't have the same exact plan. The same way when you look at the central banks, they're all moving in lockstep. One is moving before the other, but they're all doing the same exact thing. And the same thing goes with tokenization of the economies. All of them are moving in lockstep. That's why we're going to have global regulation. Now we have Ethereum's Vitalik says Facebook's metaverse will misfire. When I woke up this morning, they had a metaverse ad showing you how you can get educated inside of the metaverse. The metaverse is not something that you're going to be able to do overnight. But we know Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all these platforms are perfect for the metaverse. The social experience inside a virtual world. And we know over the last two years, people's habits have changed. They don't mind sitting in the house all day. And the metaverse, the virtual world, gives them the opportunity to travel, work, shop, straight from their couch, feeling like they're outside. And NFTs and avatars give them the ability to feel like they can be whoever they want to be. Remember, guys, feel like. Remember, your life is an illusion and TV is your reality. And lastly, we have Israel puts the brakes on cash to spur digital payments. And we know this is the global objective to get everybody moved over to a cashless society, lowering cash bit by bit. And we know how they're going to sell it to prevent fraud. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new road order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks, you have your Kobo, your Chip Stocks, your Banking, your Gaming. And while everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the Seabird, the Biotech Stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate, but let's get into the video. Part one, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part two, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part three, King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory. To get part one, part two, and part three of this series, it's time to re-educate Generation Z.